Good morning and welcome to the Principal's Message. Today I'm joined by Belinda Vatriste, Deputy Principal and Head of Senior School, and Gabe de Guzman, Learning Leader Journey. And we're going to talk about pastoral care at the college. At, at the college this year, pastoral care and reflecting on the best way we can provide pastoral care to our students has been one of our strategic priorities. And over the last 12 months or so, we've been reviewing our pastoral care offering in the school, haven't we? And that's, that's what we're going to talk to you today a little bit about, what that review's shown us and the outcomes of that review. Now, Belinda, you and Gabe led that review, haven't you? And um, Gabe, you did a lot of the philosophical thinking about pastoral care, didn't you? Maybe you could tell us a little bit about what you found in your research yep. and how that's directed where we're going. Well, a lot of it started a couple of years ago, nearly a couple of years ago now when um, you know, we, we started to conceptualise the Aspire program and we did a lot of research on Carol Dweck, um, Martin Seligman and, and looking at how um, resilience um, and well-being is essential to student outcomes. What are the things that you found from that research? So we, we consulted the National Schools Safe, Safe Schools Framework. We looked at that quite closely. Um, there are a number of other studies, um, Edith Cowan University as well as um, University of New South Wales. Um, and, and a lot of the research is saying that um, you know, the, the things have changed quite, um, quite dramatically. A, a lot of the research that, that you did was about um, students feeling connected to each other, to their teachers, to their school. And that's really what's driven a lot of our decision-making process, hasn't it? It's about student connectedness. And, and ultimately, in all the conversations we've had, the students have been at the centre of all our, our decision-making, haven't they? Yeah, we've done a lot of work in trying to empower students, um, you know, looking at upward management. Um, it's important to, to get feedback from students, especially nowadays when, um, you know, students need, need a voice. And Belinda, you, um, you consulted widely, didn't you, with students, staff and parents. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that consultation process. So we thought it was very important that um, all, all people in the community had a voice mm. in, um, in what it was that they, they wanted our school to look like. And, um, and so through our, through our research and through the feedback of um, our students and the staff at the college, parents of the college, past students of the college, um, we, we've gathered lots of data and, um, <coughs> and we've been really rewarded, I think, um, overwhelmingly rewarded by, by people's attitude to, to the care that's given in the school. And so that's been really fulfilling. But also we've, we've, been, given, um, we've been given enough data that, that tells us quite specifically that being connected to your school, being connected to people in the college, having a voice um, as a young person in a school is incredibly important to, to their <coughs> well-being, to student well-being, yep. and to achieving outcomes, whatever they might be. Now, um, a couple of years ago, we, we did a lot of work on middle school pastoral care, didn't we? And we made some changes to the way that that operated. Uh, and the key outcome of that was the year level coordinators travelling with their group of students, wasn't it? Um, from, from all of the research and the consultation that we've done, we, we have made some decisions about the, the structural look of pastoral care within the college, particularly in the high school segment of the college from year 7 to year 12, haven't we? And those changes will be implemented for the start of next year. And, and I think it's probably helpful to, to give people a sense of how things will be different next year. One of the things that, we, um, that we've noticed, uh, both within the school and through our research and data, is that when we move our students from the middle school to the senior school, that, um, that we need to have significant supports in place again. And we've had those. We've had those through a, a really um, a valuable house system of house heads. Um, what, we've, what we've been looking at and what we're implementing from 2017 is a similar system to the middle school um, where the, the, the head of year will now travel through <coughs> year seven, eight and nine and then a new head of year will travel with students from year 10, 11 and 12. Mm. 
Um, the house system will still exist, but the the primary uh, coordinator or the primary head of year um, person will be a person who is looking <coughs> after a year level yeah, yeah. of students. So, so really, we're we're moving from in the middle school a horizontal model, and what currently sits in the senior school a vertical model, to in 2017 we'll have a horizontal model through the whole of the right. high school from year seven to year ten. Mm. And and uh, our students now have a very different model of learning uh, in that there's there's approximately 60 to 70 percent of our students in the senior school would be learning in a vertical model mm. um, and so many of our students mm. come in to year 10 selecting year 11 subjects mm. and so it's not necessary for us to have a pastoral <coughs> vertical model yep. to allow students to to mingle yep. That's um, right. They are mingling yeah. um, and learning in a vertical yeah. structure anyway. And, and I think what was really central to us, Gabe, was this, this sense of connectedness, wasn't there? Yeah. And that's been really successful in middle school, hasn't it? Yeah. Students connected to a year level coordinator and forming a relationship with them over three years. And in a way, we're really re replicating that in the senior school, aren't we? That's right. Yeah, well, the, the research, the feedback that we got... Um, overwhelmingly supported that um, structure, that support. Um, yeah. Students said that they had an anchor at, um, you know, at middle school, um, travelling <coughs> through year seven, eight and nine. It helped to develop a relationship um, with that person, but also <coughs> it allowed their parents to have that, that um, person that they could yeah. also make contact with and, and form a strong relationship through that middle school journey. I think the other thing that we've really been focusing on is um the interrelationship between pastoral care and curriculum, haven't we? And um, I think that's been an important part of our thinking as well, hasn't it? Mm. Of of how do we how do we support the the intertwining of those two elements of a student's life in the school? And we're very confident that that our new model of of heads of years will support that because the head of year will be responsible for for student learning as well in conjunction with the the learning leaders in a curriculum sense but also um, also responsible for tracking progress and um, and personal growth and development won't they mm. and and developing curriculum that is a curriculum um, that is around well-being that is around um, personal and emotional growth as well um, that's developmental um, from year seven through to year twelve <coughs> that's also mm responsive yeah. to the needs of our students. Yeah, developmentally students, um, you know, overarching um, issues need to be dealt with um, at age-appropriate levels. In 2017, of course, and we'll communicate with the community through the remainder of this year, as I said, we'll be moving to a, a horizontal model where there'll be heads of year for each of the high school year levels from year seven to year 12. Mm. I think we have a, a really committed staff and each each staff member in our college wants to be connected to our students in a in a pastoral way. We we need to investigate for the remainder of the year the most um, appropriate way yeah, to, to right. support of the year level through what might currently um, be called a home group yeah, system. Yeah. But we don't have the answers just yet to yeah. that. We're working on that one. So I hope you've enjoyed having a little bit of a chat to Belinda and Gabe about our pastoral care review. And um, of course, if you have any questions about the pastoral care review, certainly you could direct them to Belinda and Gabe. So thanks very much and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs>